All right, so for this last problem, what we're going to do is look at two pulleys that are connected by a belt. So that means there's going to be some kind of relationship between how they... Whoa, that was not a good circle. So let's try that again. We're going to try to tell how they relate to each other in terms of how fast they move. So looking at that, so we'll just pretend that that's 50 and 30. So this one has a radius of 50. This one has a radius of 30. And they are connected by some belt. So turns out the belt doesn't really make a difference here. So what we know is that the larger pulley makes 12 revolutions per minute. Okay. Now, that information right there translates to radians per minute because we know that each revolution is 2 pi radians. So that means that omega for this first one, I'm going to call it omega 1, is 12 times 2 pi, which is 24 pi, and that's radians per minute. Okay, so that's how fast the angle is changing. Okay, here's the beautiful thing, and here's the link. So we know that the length of the belt going around the the small pulley or the large pulley is the same as the length of the pulley of the belt going around the small pulley and it stands to reason that the small pulley has to work a little bit harder to keep up so the small pulley is going to be going faster so here's one way to look at this so if my if my angular velocity is dub is omega 1 for the larger one i'm going to say that omega 2 is the angular velocity for the smaller one, okay? And its radius is 30. So what am I getting at here? The linear velocity for both of these is going to be the same because if we turn on the pulleys, the point is going to go around the circles at the same rate. So that means that 24 pi times omega, uh, not times omega 1, times the radius, actually I'm going to write this differently here. I'm going to say that omega 1 times r1 is equal to omega 2 times r2, okay? Because those both represent the same linear velocity. So I know things now. I know that the larger radius is 50, and I know that it comes with a angular velocity of 24 pi. And I know that the Smaller pulley has a radius of 30, but I don't know what its omega 2 is, but I can easily find it. So this is 1200 pi over here, and this is 30 omega 2 over here. So solving for that, I get 40 pi equals omega 2, and that 40 pi is radians per minute, because we didn't change any units there, did we? So the first part, I'm going to find the radians per second. That part's actually kind of easy. So if I have 40 pi radians in every minute, I just need to convert that to seconds. So I want seconds here, and I want to get rid of minutes so that that goes away. And I know that there is 60 seconds in every minute. So reducing that, I get 2 thirds pi radians per second. So there's the answer to the first question. Okay, I'll just highlight that in green so we know that that goes along with that. In blue, what I want is the, I want the angular velocity in revolutions per minute. So taking the same thing, 40 pi radians per minute, and I know that there's two pi radians. I know that every, each revolution is two pi. So, or just divide by 2 pi. You know, I have 40 pi things, and I know that there's that each one of these other things is 2 pi. That's going to give me 20 revolutions per minute. Now, interestingly enough, there is kind of a shortcut that happens here. So, I want to look at this relationship up here. When we have a pulley system like this, we know that omega 1 r1 is the same as omega 2 r2. And since the omegas and the revolutions are just multiples of 2 pi, we know that that's going to be the same too. So if I do a little bit of fancy footwork here, if I take the ratio of the angular velocities, it's the same as the ratio of the radii, but in reverse order. 
So just notice that this went with 20 revolutions per minute. So 30 gave me 20, but 12 gave me 50. So if you multiply 20 by 30, you get the same thing as if you multiplied 12 by 50. Just a little interesting fact. But using the fact that they have the same linear velocity, we can totally solve this problem without too much effort. So hopefully this problem made sense, and I thank you so much for watching.